Today, I'm gonna show you top 10 tricks in Mac. If you're coming from Windows operating system background, definitely you will find these tricks very useful. So I was struggling to find those options in Mac and I found this as my top 10. All right, uh, let us start with number one, how to capture a signature. So you just go to, uh, take a screenshot and then press command N. Oh, sorry, go to preview, press command N. This will bring the newly captured image into your uh, preview application. So here now, click this button. This will show you the menu options and we have an uh, option called sign here, right? So I just tried some of them here and uh, how to create new one, create signature and you have two options, trackpad and camera. I'll show you how the camera works, but uh, first let's try with the trackpad. Click here, start writing the signature on the trackpad. Okay, once done, press any key from on the keyboard. So this will be listed in your signatures list, right? So other one is very interesting. You sign it on a paper and show it to the camera and camera will take and uh, save it for you. Click on the camera. Okay, once done, say done. Okay, you have to try it again because some part is missing, but that should be fine. So that's how you capture signature from camera. Okay, moving on. The next trick is, so you might have used Control or Delete in number of times on any on Windows, but what's the equivalent option in Mac? Yes, there's one. It's Option, Command, and then Escape. Right, this will bring you uh, the list of applications you have and uh, you can force quit so basically the option is to kill the applications which are not responding right so same way i mean the way you do it in windows you have an option to do it the same way in mac as well so let me close uh, this one force quit yeah that's done okay number three zoom in zoom out shortcut so there are two things uh, uh, okay multiple applications will be, be behave uh, differently let me try with first terminal and if you command minus will zoom out and command plus will zoom in increase the font right so that's how you zoom in and zoom out a text in an application but how do you zoom in and zoom out the entire application? Okay, that's our trick number four. Okay, go to system preference and type accessibility. Okay, and go to zoom. So here use keyboard shortcut to zoom. So remember this zoom is to zoom the entire screen as is. So let me try this right if this is already checked by default this won't be checked but you have to go to the uh, pref system preferences and accessibility and zoom right let me try with command option and then is equal to this will zoom the entire screen okay and one good thing is if you if you are already at uh, you know maximum zoom out level it won't go beyond that that's a good option because it won't shrink any further trick number five okay so it's about how to capture a specific section of your screen um, so I mean we have an option to capture screen uh, uh, like full screen a specific portion of the screen right so when you say specific portion of the screen you will have to edit i mean capture something and edit so that it looks clean but there's a built-in option so click on command shift 4 and this will give you a option to capture whatever you want but now press up spacebar 
this will turn like this and place the cursor wherever you want for example now i want uh, the dock or i want the menu top menu or i want the application right so if you click here okay so see here how clean it is so you cannot uh, crop it so that it looks so clean so you want to take any specific section again i'm telling you command shift 4 okay and this will turn to uh, capture option now press spacebar and click whatever the portion you want to capture so now you can see easily right so only though that section is captured and it looks very clean see in touch bar if you want to change the brightness or the volume what you do so it's the button and you'll get this option increase or decrease right same thing with uh, volume but there is an option don't have to touch multiple times just drag press and drag okay same thing press and drag so you can get a finer increment or finer decrement okay you can shoot this oh no this is mute and the seventh trick how to record record sound or voice using quick time right so open the right click on the quick time and say new audio recording this will open up a window and this click here it will start recording okay this is useful when you don't have any other audio recording application installed on your machine what's the home and end button on your mac if you are using uh, external keyboard you may find one but the default mac keyboard doesn't have any home and end button key right so you have to use different key combination at different applications for example in ms word you can use command and then right or left arrow to move around so the left command and left will take you to the home of the line or beginning of the line command and right arrow will take you to the end of the line right same thing in uh, notes yeah command and arrow combination works but in word there is a function arrow option also available for you function and key combination i mean arrow key combination okay but if you are in terminal that won't work okay see here this will move around or move between the screens or move between the terminals what you have to do is Control A will take you to the beginning of the line. Control E will take you to the end of the line. So, yeah, I mean, you have to find a proper option in different applications. And uh, trick number nine, okay, how to close, I mean, keyboard shortcut to close the applications. Command W will close the application, right? And uh, if you have something, uh, modify it will ask you whether to save or not for that you can let me try this right so when i say control uh, command w it will say do you want to save or not so the next option would be command delete but that won't work in all the applications for document it works but for uh, uh, this image it won't work you have to say command delete so let me try command d if nothing happens command delete yeah there's a click that application closed and if you are in uh, windows and then press command w again it'll ask whether to save or not then again command d so that's how you close an application okay and uh, and there are other options to hide me or 
hide other applications for example i want to hide this application i just press ctrl or command head that will hide okay and if i want to hide everything else apart from this application meaning hide everybody else not me so i am right now highlight i mean uh, this application is highlighted if i say con option command h everything else will be closed and this application will be visible 